A dental implant is a surgical device placed in the upper and lower jaw to replace a missing tooth, missing teeth, or to have a denture snap into to make it more solid so it doesn't, doesn't move around. A candidate for an implant, a uh, patient must have enough bone to have an implant placed. Uh, they must be uh, medically healthy. Um, some contraindications would be patient with diabetes, a smoker, patient on osteoporosis drugs as bisphosphonates. Um, those types of things we have to look at and um, make sure an implant will be viable. Um, a patient would get an implant if they were missing a tooth, missing uh, a couple teeth, or wearing a denture. Um, we can replace a missing tooth with an implant. We can replace a multiple amount of teeth with, with implants. We can actually snap a denture into implants and make it more solid, especially on the lower jaw where a denture will be moving around a lot. Um, and it would increase their chewing capacity and they'd better be able to eat their food better. The process for a patient to get an implant can vary depending on the procedure that we need to do. Sometimes we need to take a tooth out before uh, we place the implant. And if that's the case, we may need to bone graft the area to make sure we have enough width of bone and height of bone. Um, and then after a certain amount of healing, we can place the implant. And then after that heals for about three or four months, we go ahead and restore the implant, whether that be with a crown or a denture that's gonna snap into it. A dental implant, first of all, has a very high success rate, 96% success rate, depending on the patient, okay? If they take care of their implant, it can last them a lifetime. If they don't, just like anything, um, it could fail early. Um, most problems we see with implants are just a little recession of the gum around it, which is usually um, a very manageable problem, but it can last a lifetime if taken care of. The cone beam computed tomography allows us to view the arch, the dental bone, um, in three dimensions. So we can see the width, the height of the bone, where vital structures are, including the sinus and the nerve that runs in the lower jaw. It allows us to strategically place the implant to avoid all these structures and to be in bone. A scan is needed when placing an implant as it's become the standard of care in placing implants. Um, we can virtually place the implant on a computer um, trace the nerve, look at vital structures, so we avoid these when placing the implant. A CBC T-scan makes it more predictable in placing the implant, um, so we avoid the vital structures such as the nerve and the sinus. A normal x-ray only allows us to see two dimensions. A CBC T-scan will allow us, allow us to see everything in three dimensions, so we can twist and turn that any which way we need to see it to see the height of bone, to see the width of bone, and to see where these vital structures are.